Hey everyone, welcome back to another Tic Tac Taiko. Today I've got a solo drill that's as simple as it is fun. Let's take a look. I call this drill solo on the beat because that's exactly what you're going to do. This is something that I've done in my solos quite a lot. This is something I see a lot of other taiko players do as well. So I wanted to take the idea, the concept, and squish it into a formalized drill. And the drill is really simple. It only has three short rules. Rule number one, you have to start with a pattern that repeats but has no accents. So for most taiko players, this is going to be straight beat or a dongle but there are a few others as well. Second rule, you cannot add nor subtract any notes from the pattern. So for example, if you had a straight beat, you couldn't do things like this. No more, no less, just the pattern that you started with. And rule number three, you can change the volume of any of the valid notes. So this doesn't mean just accent, you can also make the notes quiet as well. So like I said, really short, pretty simple rules. For those who aren't as familiar with it or haven't quite figured out what I'm talking about, I'm going to do three really short demos, three different G or patterns, at three different tempos, in three different arrangements, to give you an idea of the kinds of things that you can do with this drill.
talked about parameter drills in previous solo videos where you're forced to do a certain thing that spurs creativity. That's what this drill is. It's more than that, but that on the base level is what this drill is. So if you, if you don't do this kind of thing when you solo, it's a great drill to practice. But even if you do already do this in a solo, it's still a really good drill because when you solo, you might be playing all the notes and accenting, but you're not forced to stay within certain rules. You might add an extra note here or take out a note there. When you're doing it as a drill and you have rules you have to follow, it's actually sometimes way harder because now you can't do what you normally do. So I really recommend taking this for a spin. You know what else is really cool about this drill? Everything. So you provide your own accompaniment in this drill. It's nice when you have someone next to you playing the G, you can solo on top of that and you're having that connection. But the connection is now between you and yourself. You play the G underneath the solo. It's like two for one. Another thing, if you've seen my videos, you know I'm always saying these things. Make sure that you start with the left hand instead of the right all the time. Make sure that the notes are even. Make sure that you keep the tempo steady. You know what, in this drill, it doesn't matter. That's not the point of the drill. You have those three rules and anything outside of those rules doesn't matter. Speed up, slow down, be unbalanced. It really doesn't matter. Um, you can also do this drill anywhere and everywhere. You saw that I played on a shime setup, naname, multiple drums. You can play with your hands, you can play in the washing machine, you can play on someone's head, although with a six feet distancing rule, maybe stick to your own head. And, and finally, something that's really, really cool that you may not notice for a while. This drill teaches you how to stay on rails. So if I'm playing a straight beat, the down beat will always be on my right hand and the up beat will always be on my left hand, unless of course I switch hands. Now, when someone says, hey, here's a pattern I want you to play, and they sing it up to you in Kuchishoka, the, the verbal notation that we use, you will know like that, which hand is right and which hand is left. The sticking becomes intuitive. It's almost like being able to read music in Western notation and having somebody give you sheet music and you go, oh, okay, that's my pattern. That's the equivalent in Taiko. And you get that by doing something like this. It's not the only way, but this is a really fun, easy way to learn extra skills that you don't even know you're learning by just doing the drill. So I cannot stress how much fun and how useful this solo drill is. And so, if you like this video, let me know with a thumbs up. If you have comments, ideas, or suggestions, let me know those in the comments section below. And... Subscribe. Until then, keep practicing and be well.